Jess and welcome to Jess Science, science for everyone. For this episode, we're going to be looking at how to make a parachute for a toy. So I have selected my little Yoshi here. He might be a little heavy if you've got something a bit smaller or lighter that might work a little bit better. And we are going to make a parachute. Now, we need to do that to protect Yoshi in case Yoshi falls from a bit of a height. Right now, though, there is already a force acting on Yoshi. A force that pulls everything down to the ground. And yes, that force is gravity. It's okay if he's on the ground. It's good. It keeps him on the ground. But if he were to drop, he'd get pulled right down and we'd want to slow his fall down. And that's where the parachute comes in. The parachute is hopefully going to get something else that's all around us to push up. And that's something else. You can feel it if you take your hand and you flap your face just like that. It's air. Air is all around us. It pushes in all directions. By having the parachute and having it fall, air will hopefully push up on the parachute, create air resistance, and slow Yoshi's fall down. All right, now let's take a look on what we're going to need to make this. To make your parachute, you are going to need something like a plastic bag or tissue or newspaper. I have a bag whose handles had broken, so I was able to use that. And I made it about 30 to 40 centimeters long for each side. So you can experiment a little bit, maybe try something a little bit longer or about the same and then mix it up afterwards. You're also going to need four pieces of equal size string. So cut one piece and again I did it about kind of 30 centimeters, 40 centimeters and then make sure the other pieces all match that. You're going to need some tape to tape the string to your parachute as well as some scissors and of course your very light, non-fragile toy that you want to protect. Make sure it's okay if the toy does fall from a height. You'll take your plastic or your tissue, whatever you're using, and your piece of string. I have already have a little bit of tape here on it, so using the tape I'm going to press it down into each of the corners. So I've got one corner done, and now I do one more corner just over here and rotate that through, get my third corner with my piece of tape and string, and my last corner just over here. There we go, I got my four corners. I'm going to pick up the string and make sure I have each of the ends so that I'm getting it right in the center here. There we are, one, two, three, and four. Gather them up together. Now you might need another piece of string to put around your toy to be able to attach it. I'm lucky Yoshi here has a little loop. So I'm going to take one of my pieces of string here and feed it through the loop and then tie it all together here. So if I tie it up just like that, do do do, here we go. All right, we have our toy, we've got our parachute. Now it's time to test it out. We'll see what that looks like. All right, I'm holding the parachute so that it's spread as wide as it can be and then dropping from a height. So here we go, three, two, one. And there goes Yoshi. Let's try it again. And three, two, one. We made our parachute. Now, did it work? The best thing to do would be to drop your toy, again, make sure it won't break, uh, from the same height and time it. How long will it take to land? Try it again with your parachute. Does it take longer? If you have the time and the materials, feel free to play around with the length of the string, the shape of the parachute, as well as how big it is. What makes the best parachute? I'll leave you to find out. See you next time. Bye.